Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a pre-cruise packing haul. So I'm going to share a variety of different things that I've picked up for our upcoming Disney cruise. A lot of these items were suggestions from you guys. So I just wanna thank you so much. When I posted our we're going on a Disney cruise video, which I'll link above if you haven't seen it, I explained that it was a pretty last minute decision that neither my husband nor I have ever been on a cruise before. And so I just asked if anyone had any suggestions of things that we should bring with us and you guys delivered big time. Those comments were super helpful to us as we started to figure out what we needed to gather or purchase with regards to being the most prepared for our cruise. So I really appreciate your input. Thank you so much. So I'm just gonna jump in. Every single thing I will link below so that if you are coming up on going on a Disney cruise or a cruise of any kind, you can go and check them out. And about 90% of these items I bought on Amazon anyway because that was where the best price was and also because I love Amazon. And so um, I will. most of the links will be Amazon links so that will be easy for you if you want to shop. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to try to share these items somewhat categorically, but to be honest, it's a pretty big basket of items, so if they're a little jumbled, I apologize. But we're going to start with seasickness prevention or seasickness medication type of items. So the first item are these Gin Gins, which are hard ginger candy. I actually put out a poll on Instagram where I asked which brand of hard ginger candy was the best and I got literally probably 50 to 60 people who said these gin gins are the absolute best. A lot of women who have been pregnant in the past said that they've used them throughout their pregnancies and then a variety of people who have been on cruises or deal with motion sickness or seasickness have said that these are amazing for that nauseous feeling. So I'm really looking forward to trying them. Within the pouch there are a whole bunch of little pre-wrapped gin gins, I guess is what they're called. So these should be easy to throw a couple in our pocket or a couple, you know, depending on the situation once we're on the ship, we can throw these, you know, in our pocket, in my purse, wherever we're going because they're, they're individually wrapped. So gin gins, that's the first thing that we picked up for this cruise. The next item is some Dramamine and I just picked up a little safety travel size of it. It has 12 tablets. Neither my husband nor I have ever gotten, we do not get motion sick, we don't get car sick, none of that. So I realize that being on a ship is different, but I don't anticipate us getting seasick, but I still wanna be prepared because it would be not super fun to be on a boat for a week and be <laughs> sick. So anyway, we picked up some Dramamine. A lot of people recommended this, just like an old standard, you know, traditional way to treat seasickness. Aside from the Gin Gin candies, these were the next thing that were the biggest on the list of things that people mentioned with regards to seasickness, and these are those C-bands. So they come in these little travel containers and you can open them up and they're basically like as far as I understand, they're like acupressure, and so you put them on your wrists, and the way there's like a little bead on them, and the way that the bead pushes into your wrist apparently helps a lot with nausea. I traveled with a woman one time who wore these on the plane, and they helped her so much. And I also heard from several pregnant women who Instagram DM'd me and said that these are awesome during pregnancy as well. So apparently they do work. I've never tried them or used them before, but I'm looking forward to giving them a shot if need be. And last but not least, of course, are my trusty essential oils. I have ginger essential oil coming in the mail. It will get here this afternoon, but I wanted to film this video. And this is peppermint. I'll also bring some of my old favorites like thieves and lavender, but peppermint and ginger are the two that, upon my research, are fantastic for nausea and or seasickness. And people say to put them behind your ear. So I will let you know. I don't hope that we get seasick, but I'll let you know if we do, which of these remedies worked for us and which didn't. So we have a variety of different options. Um, and like I said, this is peppermint essential oil and then I have ginger essential oil on its way. Next, I have a swim shirt. This is from Land's End and it's a navy blue long sleeved swim shirt. I love Land's End swimwear because it is super, super high quality and I appreciate that a lot. And um, this one, was on sale for about 40% off. So I'm not sure if that sale's still going, but there are definitely some good sales sometimes. 
This is an SPF 50 material, which I am really looking forward to trying. As you can see, I have literally transparent skin. And so I have to be super careful about taking care of my skin, especially when I'm in the sun, especially when I'm in the Caribbean. The hard thing is though, even when I have a lot of sunscreen on and I'm continuously reapplying, my skin is just so fair and so sensitive that I usually will still get burned to some degree, which is not great. So one of you recommended this in that we're going on a Disney cruise announcement video and I thought it was a fantastic idea. So I picked it up just so that on those days when we're on the beach all day, I can at least give my skin a break for a period of time. Um, of course, we're gonna bring other, I'll bring bathing suits and things that aren't just this, but this video is intended to be things that I bought specifically for this trip, not things I already have, like bathing suits. Also in the clothing section, you know I printed myself some new tees from my Etsy shop. If you have never visited my Etsy shop, you've gotta go check it out. It's about two years old in a few months and I work hard on it and I absolutely love it. It is my baby, it is a labor of love and I have a variety of different types of t-shirts, different designs. I have tank tops, I have v-necks, crew necks, all kinds of things, lots of different colors. And I have a lot of Disney designs, I have a couple of Disney cruise designs, and then I have some non-Disney designs that are just cute designs. And so let me just show you the few things that I ordered and printed for myself from my shop. The first thing is this heathered navy unisex tank with make waves on it. I thought this was super cute for for the um, cruise because it's just really loose. The unisex tanks are just super loose and kind of flowy and um, baggy and I thought that would be really nice to wear kind of as like a cover up while I am walking around on the ship. Next I have this cardinal crew neck that says cruise days are the best days and I think I'm gonna wear this this or the next one I'm gonna show you when I'm boarding the ship for some cute pictures on the first day. I love this one. And even though I've never been on a cruise, so I don't know that cruise days are the best days, I've heard from a lot of people that cruise days are indeed the best days. So I'm looking forward to wearing this shirt. Next I have this white v-neck that says, just keep cruising. All of my shirts are printed with this gorgeous gold ink with the exception of just a few. So that's a white v-neck. I think, I, I think I actually might wear this. I have these new, shorts that I just bought and I think I'm gonna wear this with the shorts as I'm boarding the ship on the first day. I'm so excited. And then last but not least, one of my old favorites, which is my Moana design. It's perfect for a Disney cruise on a navy v-neck. So those are the tees that I, and the tank that I printed for my Disney trip. If you wanna go check out my Etsy shop, the link is always below. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because there are lots of sales and coupons that I share there, free shipping, things like that. So my Instagram handle for my Etsy shop is at Blair Lamb Design. All right, moving on, I have these two cell phone, waterproof cell phone holders, and they do have lanyards attached to them. They are removable if you just want this part. They are completely waterproof. The instructions when we received them were to put a tissue inside and then to seal them up and submerge them in water for 30 minutes and then see if the tissue is dry or wet indicating whether or not the product should be used or not, obviously. And we did it with both of them and both of our tissues were completely dry, meaning that these are completely waterproof. So I saw some people in the reviews on Amazon who literally took their phones into the ocean to take underwater pictures using these. I'm not brave enough for that, but I do think that on the beach, I don't want, We our phones are pretty new and I don't want sand and water and sunscreen and all that just like getting into our phones so we're totally going to use these on the beach and we might take the lanyards off if we're just using them handheld through the plastic they the touch screen does work through the plastic however they, it's nice to have and knowing that it is completely waterproof in the event that there was an accident or something like that so that's that two little waterproof phone cases for the two of us specifically for beach days but probably we'll use them at the pool and things like that as well more lanyards we also got these two lanyards that have little cruise ships on them they're navy blue navy blue is my favorite color and then they have this little badge holder id holder at bottom so on disney cruises you receive a card that's called your key to the world card and that's what you use for your room key and a variety of other things and so that's important to have with you when you are on the ship and i don't plan on carrying around a purse most of the time and so it will be nice to just have this lanyard that i can just wear 
around my neck, especially if I'm wearing like a dress or athletic shorts that don't have pockets. So, and I'll also show you one other thing that I bought to put in here, but these were from Amazon. I like that this is like this if it needs to get scanned. And I think it's really cute with the little, the little cruise ships. And here at the bottom, there is the snap off. So if you just want to, if I am taking like a little purse or a little bag and I don't want that whole lanyard, I could just carry this. This may be the item I am most excited for. This is a GoPro style camera and it comes with a waterproof case and it is so neat. I shared this in my weekly vlog, my last weekly vlog, but Riley and I, when we bought it from Amazon, we tested it that day and we got like a big bowl of water and put it in the water and tested it. It works beautifully. It is, it was so inexpensive. It was like 50 bucks and it worked beautifully. The quality was really great. Even the sound was great. And so we are super looking forward to using this on the vacation for a variety of different things. I'm hoping that when we're in Castaway Key, we can strap it. There's a it come, came with like tons of different attachments in order to attach it to like a helmet or a bike. I'm hoping that we can attach it to a bike in Castaway Key because we're gonna rent bikes and ride around the island and get some beautiful footage of that. And then I also, when we're snorkeling in Castaway Key, specifically would love to get some underwater footage of it with this camera. So really, really looking forward to using this. Obviously the camera that I vlog with, maybe not obviously, it's not waterproof. And like I said, I'm not brave enough to use those little pouches as waterproof cases. So I'm so excited to use this and I could not believe the price. It was so inexpensive. I think it was $52.99, something right around there for an underwater GoPro style camera. It has like five stars. I checked the reviews on fakespot.com, which is a site that tells you how legit Amazon reviews are and it got an A rating. So I love this thing. I'm so excited to use it. This next item is a tradition for us when we travel, and that is a little hand soap. I love not having to use bar soap when I'm washing my hands, and especially when I'm at a hotel, or if like now we're gonna be on this cruise, I want to really wash my hands. I don't, I just do not like the bar soap situation. And so I bought this, it's $1. The, the um, scent is Seaside Escape, which I thought was perfect, and the label has a little picture of some umbrellas, it's really cute. But what I love most is that I we never use this whole thing up while we're away, and then so when we come home, we put it in our bathroom, and the scent brings that back memories of the trip for the next few weeks, so it helps deal with those like post-trip blues. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys do this as well because a lot of you recommended that we do it, and we do. So if you don't br do this, I highly recommend it. You can grab, like I said, for a $1 or less, you can grab a little hand soap pump and take it on your vacation, and it makes it easier while you're there, and then it's also kind of a fun scent memory when you come home. These next two items are a sponge and a small thing of dish soap. So the reason why I am taking a sponge and some dish soap on a vacation is not because I'm excited to do dishes, but because on a Disney cruise, it is recommended to bring your own water bottle style container. So some kind of like cup or reusable cup, something like that, that you can use to carry around soda or coffee or water or whatever, because evidently the cups that Disney provides are very, very small. So I had dozens of people recommend that we bring our own drinking containers. So we already have those and those are packed away, but a lot of people also recommended to bring some dish soap and a sponge to rinse those out in your stateroom before using them again the next day, which is something I would not have thought of, but is super, super smart. Because if I'm drinking coffee in the morning and then I wanna drink water later, I definitely wanna give my my cup a good scrub out. So I thought that was a really smart idea. Super easy and inexpensive. I already had this container. I just decanted some dish soap into it and sponges are super cheap. Along similar lines, I bought from the dollar store a little travel size of Gain laundry detergent because not only is there laundry on the ship, so we could do laundry on the ship, though I don't plan on doing that. Before we are going on the cruise, we are actually meeting up with my family and we're all staying in a beach house together for a couple of days for my cousin's wedding. And so because of that, this trip is quite long. The, t the amount of time that we're gonna be away from home is quite long because we have this first part and then the cruise. So I do anticipate doing a, at least a small load of laundry for my husband and I before we board the cruise, just so that I don't have to bring like 14 t-shirts, I can just bring a few and then wash them and then we can wear them on the cruise. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this downy wrinkle releaser. Unfortunately, there are no irons in the staterooms because they're a fire hazard and you are not allowed to bring steamers, which was my original plan. Cannot do that. There are 
all, throughout the ship there are laundry facilities and there are ironing boards available within the laundry facility and or you could go get your clothes pressed through the laundry service but most of my clothes are not probably going to get too too wrinkled and so i'm just going to probably use this downy wrinkle releaser and then throw the clothing in the like in it in the shower room that's called a bathroom in the bathroom while one of us is showering and it's steamy and that usually pulls the wrinkles out enough um, of course if we need to get them pressed or go iron we'll go do that but i think for most things we'll be able to use this next up and this is kind of a silly item this is a highlighter a lot of people recommended that we bring one in order to highlight our daily navigators i think they're called personal navigators i forget it's the paper that is put in your stateroom every evening with the next day's events and activities and i had several people recommend bringing a highlighter to be able to identify which of those activities we wanted to go to and to be able to remember them and that kind of thing so i felt like that was easy enough to pack so we have a highlighter Along the same lines, we had a lot of people recommend that we bring a stack of post-it notes in order to communicate with our stateroom host if the need would arise. So again, easy enough to get a little pack of post-it notes and throw it in our luggage. Next up, I have a few things kind of in the beauty category. So the first thing are these rubber kind of head, rubberized headbands that go around your head and um, a lot of people use them for working out, but I was recommended to purchase these or grab some because the ships are so windy and that your hair is just kind of always in your face. And let me tell you, that drives me crazy. So I thought this was a really good idea. So I got this thick blue one and this thick black one. I really like these that have this kind of rubberized inside because you put that toward your hair and it really like grips your hair and holds it back. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't have that, it just slides off my head. So I really thought these were cute and they will be super helpful when we're on the ship or on the beach. The next thing is something that has become one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite makeup products and it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It's a lot of words. It's basically like a tinted moisturizer. I've been using it every single day this summer because I don't want to put on a full face of heavy makeup. It's just too hot. I live in Texas. It's too hot for all that. So this is perfect. This is just like a very light, thin layer. I will say that it is... It has a not a matte finish. It has a very dewy, one could say maybe a little oily looking finish because it has sunscreen in it. It has, I forget what the SPF is, it doesn't say, but it definitely has SPF 30. So because of that, I just do like a light powder over my face to kind of mattify it. But this stuff works great. I love it because it looks really natural, but it evens out my skin tone. It's really easy to wear. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel or smell like sunscreen which are two things i cannot stand and i just love it this is my second tube i bought the first tube when we were about to go this past january to walt disney world and i wore it the whole time and absolutely loved wearing it because it's just light and easy and now i've been wearing it every day as my go-to and i only do a more full coverage foundation every once in a while i'm wearing this today i love it so highly highly recommend it if you are in the market for something like this but i think for a cruise it'll be super easy because i can just throw it on and it's not heavy thick makeup and also it has sunscreen in it. The next thing is this mascara. This has quickly become my all-time favorite mascara. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes in the waterproof and I like the blackest black is my favorite shade to wear. I have gone through several tubes of this. I just love it. It volumizes your lashes. It stays on all day. It does not flake and it really does I don't know waterproof but it's water resistant like if you're sweating or whatever you do, it doesn't come down your face the non waterproof version of this is terrible in my opinion i really don't like it the formula is great as far as how your lashes look but it just melts off your face so i definitely recommend this in the waterproof version if you are in the market for a great waterproof mascara i'm going to be wearing this for our entire trip i bought a whole new tube of it just for the trip <laughs> It is no surprise that I love Erin Condren, so I ordered some custom luggage tags from her for our trip. They have our name, our email address, and a phone number on these, and they are great because they are bright blue on the back side where our information is, so they make it really easy to spot luggage, and those were an easy little, I think they're only 10 bucks for two of them, and I have a gift certificate link below it's a referral link that if you click on it and sign up they'll email you a ten dollar gift certificate so if you wanted to grab luggage tags for your upcoming trip there are a variety of adorable patterns and styles 
and you could get them for free. Next up are stateroom door magnets. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of pulling all of these out because if you continue to watch my channel on my vlogs, I will show you what all of our magnets look like, but they are for decorating our stateroom door. So your stateroom, which is basically like your cabin or your hotel room on the ship, those doors are magnetic and a lot of people recommended for fun and also for making them easily identifiable to purchase or create stateroom magnets. So I designed, printed them off, and um, laminated them, and I talk about this all in a recent vlog. So I'll link that vlog above if you want to get more information on exactly how I made these, but I just wanted to share them because I know a lot of you recommended that we do that, and we totally did, and it was so much fun. Next up is this little USB hub charger, and so you're able to plug in up to four different USB cords that you're able to then charge your iPad, your cell phone, your camera, battery, whatever you need. So on my, we're going to Disney, on a Disney cruise announcement video, so many people recommended that we bring a power strip, but you are actually not allowed to bring a power strip on Disney cruises. And so we had to get creative and find something different. So this is something that is allowed, but it is not a power strip. It's just, it plugs into the wall and it's just like a little port. Um, but a really easy, small way to add extra charging capabilities to your stateroom. And we'll also probably start taking this on all of our trips because it's just nice to have all of your charging stuff in one spot and not have to have it all over the room. Next up, I have a book. What vacation is complete without a good book? This book is called Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. I have obviously not read it yet because I am packing it to read while we're on our cruise. I've heard such good things about this book and it was actually sent to me to my P.O. box from one of my subscribers named Gabby. So I just want to thank you so much, Gabby. That was so, so sweet of you to send this to me. And I am, I've saved it, even though I really want to dig into it because I've heard such great things. I've saved it for this trip and I'm going to totally read it on the cruise while we're sailing, maybe sitting on our balcony. I'll read it and just enjoy savoring these words. So I haven't read it. I can't give you a recommendation, but I have heard from lots of people that it's fantastic. Another super generous subscriber gift are these adorable ears that I am completely obsessed with. They have anchors on them and a little silver bow, and they are from one of my very favorite ear companies, which is called Desperate Design Ears off of Etsy. But Kelsey sent these to me in anticipation of this trip just to say, I hope you have an amazing trip and here are some fun ears, which blew me away so much I literally cried. I just think these are adorable. I love them so, so much and I cannot wait to wear them on our trip. So Kelsey, if you are watching, thank you girl. Can't wait to wear them. They're so perfect for a cruise. I love them. Next up, I have some big plastic clips. I actually grabbed these from the dollar store and so there's six of them in there for a dollar, which I felt like was a really good deal. These were recommended for keeping towels on lounge chairs. You can clip them at the top. Also for, um, airing out bathing suits, being able to clip up bathing suits, that kind of thing, drying those kinds of things out. So for six for a dollar, I felt like those were super inexpensive and perfect for what I needed them for. The the ones that the beach towel clips and things that I could find on Amazon were like eight or nine dollars for for a set of two or a set of four, which I felt like was a little outrageous for a plastic clip. So a dollar for six sounded good to me. These next items are from an Etsy shop called Your Wish Is My Creation. So the first thing are these little cards that you can put on your lanyard or in your lanyard or hooked to your lanyard. And they're basically a directory of the entire ship. So when you're checking out on Etsy, you select which of the four Disney ships you're sailing on and then the owner prints out these cards. And I think these are absolutely brilliant. One of my main concerns or just wonders when we were booking this cruise was like, how am I gonna know how to get around this ship? I mean, it's a big ship and I've never been on a cruise so I don't even have the first idea of like how to navigate it. And then I was looking on Etsy for Disney Cruise things and I found these and I thought this was so, so, so smart. And so basically it's separated into all the different categories and you're able to then just refer to this, which is on your lanyard, which will always be with you and you can easily figure out where you're going, where things are. So smart, love these. 
From that same shop, I got a little card that has a magnet on the back that is for turning the lights on in the stateroom. So basically, you're intended to use your Key to the World card to put in the slot which turns the lights on in your stateroom, but I have had so many people tell me to bring an extra gift card or something like that to use so that you don't, you're not always having to take out your Key to the World card. So I picked up this one. I thought it was super cute. It's Minnie and Mickey kissing. We're going on an anniversary cruise. I thought it was very fitting. And then it has the little magnet on the back so you can just pop it on your stateroom door when you're not using it. Very, very smart. I love this. And I actually also had a travel agent named Sarah, who I talked about in my last vlog. I will pop a link to that above. Um, send me the same sort of thing. And it was kind of like her business card printed on it, which is really cute as well. So this is just a really easy, very inexpensive way to make the cruise just a little bit better or easier for you. Next up are two things to keep bugs at bay. So the first thing I have is an insect repellent and the second thing I have is a jellyfish and sea lice repellent. These were both highly recommended that we get for the obvious reasons. Apparently when you're on the ship, there aren't bugs out in the middle of the ocean, but I wouldn't know, I've never been on a cruise, but I believe that. But then obviously when you're on land and you are at the beach, those things are a lot more prevalent. And so I was highly recommended to grab the sea lice repellent because apparently that's been a real problem lately and insect repellent and use the two of them when we are off the ship just to prevent the obvious and so I thought that was really easy and I'm especially thankful for the sea lice repellent because sea lice sounds horrible. And then of course we have sunscreen. Both my husband and I are very fair skinned and so we went to Walmart a few weeks ago and loaded up on sunscreen. Sunscreen does technically expire and it does lose its potency over the years so we end up buying new sunscreen each year. I think for people who have less sensitive, less fair skin. You probably can use sunscreen multiple years, but we'll just get burned. So <laughs> Riley picked out this big version of the no ad and this big sports spray. I like the little bit fancier sunscreens because I don't like the way those feel as much. So I got, I love this, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer, the body mist in the 70. I also got Hawaiian Tropic, which smells great in the 50. And then this is a face sunscreen Neutrogena Age Shield, which is in 70. And then I never forget to bring some kind of lip balm that has SPF in it. So this is the Hawaiian Tropic with an SPF of 45. Because if you've ever gotten your lips burnt, it is one of the most painful things ever, ever. So those are all the sunscreens that we have. And then they all go in this little pouch along with a mini deodorant that I picked up for myself. I like to have that when I'm on the beach. I also have this little, it's called a, I think it's called a go tub or something like that of um, ibuprofen, which I like to have with me at all times. And then on the back side, I do have some little lens wipes. So these are great for cleaning off your camera lens, your sunglass lens, if you wear glasses, that kind of thing, because you know in the salty sea air with sunscreen and bug spray and everything else, your everything just gets like a film on it, and these are really easy. You can wipe them off and um, clean them up while you're on the go. This actual container, this is from the container store, the clear plastic one is from probably, I don't know, four or five, six years ago. And this decal, my husband runs a screen printing studio and he has access to an industrial vinyl, vinyl cutter. It is awesome. And I asked him to cut me some vinyl to put on this. He, he did it, it's great. So we don't sell these, we don't sell the, um, the vinyl, but you can totally go on Etsy and look. So all of these things, with the exception of Riley's bigger sunscreens, which he'll carry in his beach bag, go in here. So I'll show you what that looks like. So everything fits nicely into this little bag. I have the lens wipes, I have all kinds of sunscreen, I have the bug spray, the sea lice repellent, deodorant, a little lip balm, and some ibuprofen. It's all in here. A lot of times I'll throw like a hair tie or something in here as well. I like having it all contained because sunscreen bottles get greasy because you're applying sunscreen when you're using them. I like having them all in this and then when I get home I can give this a good scrub out, scrub down all the bottles and everything's good to go. So I also like that it doesn't get grease all over like the clothes that are in my beach bag as well. So this works really well for me having something like this. If I can find a similar clear plastic case like this, I will totally link it for you because I have used and loved this for the beach and for the pool for years. And the last item on my list, which is kind of fitting for it to be the last item because it's one of the last things that I usually do at night when I'm on a beach vacation is 
aloe vera. And so this is the aloe that has the lidocaine in it. I love it because it's super cooling and soothing to the skin. So after your skin has been out in the sun all day, before I go to bed, I love to put some of this on like my shoulders and arms, places that it might get a little bit more sun. This is the Ocean Potion brand. I really like it. There's my aloe. All right, that is my Disney Cruise pre-trip haul. Those are all the items that I have picked up. A lot of them per your recommendation, some of them from my own research or from reading through forums. Those are all the different things that I've picked up for this trip and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what we use and what we don't use. I think maybe I'll create a video about that, about things that I think are absolute necessities. And if there's any of these things that we really don't end up using, maybe I'll share that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because a whole bunch of Disney Cruise vlogs are coming your way very, very soon. Thank y'all for watching. See you soon. Bye.